friends. Today, I'm going to be bringing you along a week in my life as I attempt to get it all done and slay each and every day. So I want you to join me to do some fall deep cleaning. I pack lunches for my kitten gardener. I'm going to be showing you an Amazon haul, three super easy fall crockpot meals, and I'm also going to give you a sneak peek of our home kitchen renovation. Things are so crazy this week and I'm glad I get to bring you along. We are having our kitchen cabinets painted so our house is going to be a mess all week long. So I thought I would just bring you guys along our days, show you how we're navigating and cooking dinner every day and just living life throughout a home kitchen renovation. And I had so much on my list throughout the week and what you're seeing right now is Sunday night. The painters were coming early the next morning and I was trying to get the kitchen all cleaned up before they showed up. So I was planning on picking up the countertops, all of the toys from the floor, vacuuming and mopping, and then you're going to see one last shot of my kitchen before it gets completely changed. And then throughout this video, I'm gonna be giving you updates and what our kitchen looked like every day as we were going through those re renovations. And I'm gonna be showing you three super easy crock pot meals that we made throughout the week, a workout, some school lunch ideas, if you have kids in school or maybe just for your kids. I have a big Amazon haul, some of my Amazon favorites, and some fall deep cleaning. So stay tuned and I cannot wait to show you a super sneak peek at the end of our kitchen and what it looked like. I have to pay for the mistakes I made But I hope you know that I regret Every single thing I did oh, Just tell me your life you have to I just want to pretend that you're mine for the last time Is that alright now? Just tell me your life you have to I just want So I was actually preparing this crockpot meal late at night so we would have it for the next day when the painters came um, and they, cause I knew our kitchen would be a mess. So it's super easy, just a few ingredients. You just dump some chicken breasts into a crock pot, two cans of cream of chicken, a packet of Italian seasoning and some rice, milk and top it off with Parmesan cheese. This is a super easy recipe and it smells and tastes amazing. All of my kids loved it. guys this would be like a slay the day slay the week like a week in my life as I attempt to get everything done while my house is in shambles or my kitchen rather so as you can see and if you guys are a long time follower you know that we have been planning on getting our kitchen cabinets painted so we're in the process so if you are watching this video then you get a sneak peek before you get to see the kitchen reveal so this is day one they have the primer done everything is taped off so we are limited on what we're working with as far as food and supplies and all of that but what i thought i would show you other than a sneak peek is i thought i would show you the lunch i'm making for avriel and i've started to get a little bit more creative because she hasn't been eating her lunches so i'm going to show you three lunches that I'm making throughout the week. And stay tuned because I will be giving you guys updates on the kitchen every single day. So, this is a good week. Cannot wait to share all of this with you guys. 
Okay, so for this lunch, it was just a turkey sandwich on a sweet Hawaiian roll, just switching up the bread to make it a little bit more appealing and different. We get the turkey from Costco, some cheese cubes. We normally get cheese sticks, but I wanted to switch up the appearance on this one to make it different. And then a peanut butter oatmeal energy ball, and I will have the recipe for those down below. I love you, Emery. Night night. You sleep good, okay? Okay, so now that the girls are down for their nap, I'm gonna take advantage of this downtime for them and get a good work in at home for me. Thanks to OpenFit for partnering with me on this video. One of my most frequently asked questions is how I find the time to work out with three kids. And I'm going to tell you what the key is and how there are no excuses and how I always get my workout in. I work out from home, especially with a lot of gyms being closed right now. I work out in the comfort of my own home when my kids go down for their nap so I cannot make up an excuse to not work out. No wasting time driving to the gym. I've been getting it done at home with OpenFit. They have everything from yoga to bar to hit workouts. There are live video classes all day long and on demand. You can see all of their live workouts here. And I think one of the main reasons why I like OpenFit is because they have 10 minute or less classes, 30 minute or less classes. So literally there are no excuses. I can always find time for a 10 minute workout. Today I'm going to be doing the extend bar workout and I encourage you guys to get up and do the workout with me. You will feel so much better afterwards and you literally need no equipment other than a chair or a bar stool so you don't even have to run out and get all of this workout equipment and open fit is very affordable. It's an affordable alternative to a personal trainer or a boutique studio. The cost is $97 per year after the extended free trial that I'm going to give you today. Click on the link in my description to get 21 days of free access to OpenFit and all of their amazing features like live personal trainers, recorded classes, and nutrition. Try a whole program for free. Again, click the link in my description for a special free 21-day trial to OpenFit. Try it out and break a sweat with me. All right, here we are another day in the middle of the home renovations and I'm gonna be making a crock pot meal that I'll share with you guys this one is so simple it is perfect for being in all of this craziness Mike's with the twins <laughs> um, but yes perfect for being in in the middle of this chaos super easy it's gonna be super good and I think it'll be perfect for fall Who doesn't love a dump and go meal? All you need was a bunch of cans, some taco seasoning, and then some chicken to make this taco soup. I would love to have you guys come over and find me on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram handle linked down below, but it is Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. Okay, so I'm totally cracking up. You don't realize how many little things you use when you're cooking. So I had pulled out most things that I thought I would need when I knew I'd be making these crock pot meals like throughout the week, but I never thought about a can opener. I never thought about a strainer. <laughs> so we're making do, we're making it work. <laughs> but, oh, this is crazy but I'm already loving it. Okay, so you guys know what this kitchen looked like before. You've seen my kitchen plenty of times, so I'm gonna be documenting it in the process. So this is mid-paint, mid-preparation. I'll take, give you guys like a little bit of a tour. I think this video is gonna be a lot of fun because you get to see the before. You get to see like the in-between and then you get to see the big reveal. So everything looks so good already. Just can't believe this is our kitchen. It looks way bigger, so much brighter, and all of the doors aren't even on. 
so they were able to tape everything off. They came in, they set this up. And then I'll show you in the garage. They have like a whole setup in here. <laughs> It's just nice because they come in they did all of the prep work all of the um, like all we literally had to do was remove things from the countertops that's it we didn't even have to remove anything from the cabinets or anything just remove everything from the countertops which was which was super easy and then they came in and they did all of this um, they obviously primed they painted and then they'll do all of the cleanup in just a few short days which is amazing because with the twins specifically, like it has been a juggling act trying to keep them corralled. They've been going to their grandparents' houses for the day um, to kind of get them out of the house. We've been outside with them. Luckily, it's still nice out, so we can take them outside. We try to keep them corralled as much as we can, either up in their room or in the basement. Luckily, we have an upstairs and a basement to keep them away from the smells and all of that, but... I'm loving it already <laughs> and I cannot wait for you guys to see the end result so what I'm gonna do is after they leave I'm gonna do some really good cleaning and then we're gonna add some special touches before I give you guys the reveal so yeah we've been hanging up in here <laughs> it's gonna vacuum um, we've been hanging up in here while all of the painting has been going on look at this room it's a disaster a literal disaster we've been like living up in here all day so obviously I'm filming this all kind of this video you that you're seeing all week long so they were able to go to Mike's parents house um, three out of the five days while we were while they were painting um, there was one day that they weren't able to go there, so they had to be here today, which luckily all of the priming already happened, so it doesn't smell too bad. You gotta go night-night, okay? Say, can you give him a kiss? Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Ah! That's Emery kisses for ya. What about Addison? Can you give him a kiss? Can you give him a kiss? That's what she does. She always turns away. Emery's our lover. Are you the lover? <laughs> yeah. You go night night. This is their little game. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? You gotta go night night. Yeah. Can you say hi? Hello. Say hello. So while the twins are napping this afternoon, I thought I would show you some of my recent um, Amazon favorites. I showed some in my last Slay of the Day and you guys loved the Amazon favorites. So I figured I'd show you some of like my top products throughout the year so far and some of the things that we use most frequently. Okay, and don't mind the mess. <laughs> like all around. I know you guys usually see me with a clean home, but believe me, I don't always have a clean home. Um, but anyways, okay. So the first thing I have is something that I use for Avery's lunches. Now this is a thermos and it's like a small one. And again, I'll have, and I'll have everything linked down below. But with this, I can put so many things. I cook like macaroni and cheese. I've put pasta salad in it. Anything that needs to be kept cool or hot, I do, she loves tortellini, so I'll boil that up, put some Parmesan cheese on it, the spinach and cheese tortellini, and put it in here. Um, I've even made yogurt parfaits in this, so this is just so nice to have on hand um, for her lunches. And then I'll show you the lunch, I'll show you kind of like the system that we use for her lunches. She's at school right now, um, but I'll insert a clip right here and you guys can kind of see um, what we use. I think it's the Rubbermaid lunch box, blocks, something like that. And it's fairly inexpensive. Inexpensive. I was looking at the bento boxes and um, I just thought they were kind of pricey for what they were. 
I just thought they were kind of pricey. So I went with these. They were highly recommended here on YouTube. Okay, so the next thing I featured a ton on my channel, and mainly Instagram, I guess. They These, they're called squeezy snackers and so they're like silicone i don't know if you guys can really see um i think they're made of silicone and they're basically a reusable pouch um you can see here and i got these for the girls for yogurt oatmeal smoothies all of that just because i guess with twins and also having a five-year-old it can be a little bit hard i don't want to say hard it can be time consuming to sit there and spoon feed them not that i don't do that of course i do but I also have um, these and they can go ahead and drink their yogurt, whatever else from it. Um, and they're washable. We use these daily, daily. Like this man I'm gonna put on my front porch to decorate for fall. This video where I use this and decorated my front porch might be up, so I will have it right here. Um, but yeah, I saw this on Amazon and I thought it would be a perfect addition to my fall front porch. Okay, so this mat I love 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 okay so with avery she was not a messy eater she never threw food on the floor and i probably as a first time mom probably just fed her everything right so with the twins ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> and they are super messy eaters so you get this mat you put it under their high chairs and it's just so nice so at first we were using like a blanket or a sheet so i was like i'm not gonna spend the money to buy a mat to put under but you need this you need this so it's so nice because it has grips on the bottom so it doesn't slide all over the material like nothing stains like we've had spaghetti strawberries <laughs> blueberries all over this and it doesn't stain at all you just can see something right there um but yeah it doesn't stain you just toss it in the washer um so nice so easy and yeah protects our floor which we need natural calm is something i get from amazon it is a magnesium supplement like literally there's just magnesium in it 350 milligrams um I'll have like an overlay of the benefits of magnesium. So it's basically just a vitamin, but I put it in some hot water at night. And I, I really look forward to at night, like relaxing in my bed. I'm drinking a hot cup of my natural calm. You can get it flavored, but I actually prefer it unflavored. This is the unflavored kind, just because I usually have it with a snack, my nighttime snack. So I have it with a snack. So I like the unflavored, but they have like a raspberry lemon or something like that. I used to get that and it's pretty good. Sedate you you're not going to feel out of it it doesn't like knock you out but there's a lot of health benefits to magnesium specifically for women okay so i came into the bathroom um but the next one is this sweater so i wore this in my fall clean and decorate with me and i got so many messages on where i got it from and it's just like the oversized look which i feel like is really in right now and i typically wear it with jeans i mean you can wear it with leggings if you want um but it's just, it's like breathable, super comfortable. And I would say check out Amazon, all of their sweaters. There's so many good finds over there for pretty cheap. So this was one of my favorites. So, okay. And then I just got this. So look at this. It's like the softest cardigan ever, sweater cardigan. And I just thought it would be so comfortable for the winter. And the reason that it caught my eye is because the reviews on Amazon were so high. Like I was browsing the sweaters and this came up and so many good reviews and they have a ton of colors. So obviously I have all the black just because that's what I had on under my sweatshirt. But super comfortable. And you can just like, you can obviously dress it down with some leggings like this for around the house when you're cold. If you work or whatever, I think this would be also nice. You can wear it to somewhere casual, just hanging out with family or friends, or you could wear it to work. So that's the best thing about it. But again, I will have everything linked down below. And if you like these Amazon finds, hauls in these videos, make sure you let me know in the description. So 
once the twins had woken up from their nap, they were hanging with Mike, which by the way, he works from home, but he has a pretty flexible schedule and oftentimes he works at night after they go to bed. So there's a lot of times he's hanging with the kids or we're hanging out together during the day, but I wanted to clean up the window trackings in their room and then in Avery's room. I honestly hate cleaning the window trackings. So instead of including that in, in my days where I clean, I thought it would be a lot easier to do it on a day where I really wasn't cleaning. I felt like it made it less intimidating, but I basically just use vinegar to spray on the window tracking and a lot of paper towels to wipe it all up. And I also use a cleaning toothbrush to get into all of the grooves and loosen up the dirt in the window trackings. Basically, you just repeat this over and over and over until it's clean. I also have a different method I want to try out here soon, so if you need to clean your window trackings, make sure you stay tuned. I came across this method that is supposed to make it pretty easy, so I'm going to try that out here soon on my channel. This is one of my favorite cleaning hacks. I took an, a sponge, I cut slits down the sponge so it fit perfectly in the window tracking, and then you can just glide it back and forth on the window tracking to make sure it's all clean. Or I do this as a way to keep up and maintain the trackings in my window after they are deep cleaned. So now that these window trackings are clean, all I have to do is go in and use a sponge to help maintain them and keep it up. Make sure you stay tuned for a kitchen sneak peek and another crockpot meal and lunch idea. So I wanna show you something that we have let get totally out of hand. And this is something that I plan to tackle in an upcoming video, but you need to see the kids' drawers. They are a disaster. I mean, I'm not gonna totally blame my kid, but I make her put her clothes away and this is what happened. First off, I need to tackle that. Second of all, we need to have a little refresher tutorial of how to put our clothes back. Um, and it actually works out with the time of the year because during this time of the year, I know that the cool weather is coming. It's kind of already here. It's been in the 60s lately, which actually has been kind of nice. But with all of that, I need to go through her clothes here, see like what doesn't fit her anymore, what she needs maybe more of, and then her closet needs to be go gone through. So the, gr the twins, same thing, um, but it's also a disaster. So I plan to tackle that in an upcoming video. So I guess stay tuned for that one. And maybe if you have kids and you need to do the same thing, we can do it together. <laughs> Cause right, we need motivation. It's like, there's already so much that has to be done. And then you're always like, oh yeah, I gotta do this. So okay, joy so is really quickly, <laughs> we're sitting in here eating dinner in the living room because that's our kitchen. <laughs> what do you think about eating dinner in the living room? Is it good? I think you're just making a mess. 
Are you making a mess? All right. Seriously, life is so crazy right now. We're eating dinner in the living room. I don't know why we didn't go outside. It's a little chilly, I guess. And we just have stuff all over this house. I feel like we're living in chaos right now, but I guess that's just what happens when you're doing home renovations. I mean, it's like, it'll all get cleaned up. I know it will, um, but it just seems kind of crazy right now. Hey, girly. Emery, can you dance? Can you dance? Dance! Dance! Stop. Guys, <laughs> so second lunch I'm gonna show you. We got it all, we got the nice spread right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it and then I'll show you what it is. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes Dreamt of a life in a big town Skyscrapers and neon lights Ooh, I still think of you Okay, so for the main course, I have, I attempted, I saw this on Instagram, it was a peanut butter and jelly roll up, there again, just a different way to present the food, so it's not just your boring sandwich, and in the picture it looked like nice and compact and cuter, but I think I put too much peanut butter and jelly on it, and it just kind of like, did a little fold over. But, I mean, it's peanut butter and jelly. I think she'll be fine. So, I gotta master that peanut butter and jelly roll up. So, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is one of her favorites. And then for the sides, I have some red peppers again. So, typically, what I do is I'll get like one or two vegetables, one or two fruits, and then just cycle those out throughout the week. So, peppers. And then I have some goldfish pretzels and I added in a couple surprises a couple of chocolate chips in there for her little snack and then I used this thermos and I did some Greek yogurt Okio's Greek yogurt and I added in some granola which is one of her favorites um, and it's this Jessica's natural hazelnut granola. I've tried a bunch of the bunch of the Jessica's granola and um, they're all really, really good. There's a chocolate chip one that's amazing. So this is the granola she likes and we just put it on there and then I'll take this out, put it on there. And we're ready to go. So I actually filmed this on the last day that the painters were at our house. They, for the most part, were pretty finished with them. There were some little things I had to come back the next day to finish up, but I am gonna give you a sneak peek here in a minute. Um, but I wanted to make some chicken noodle soup, and this recipe is fairly simple. I like to keep it simple, minimal ingredients, not a ton of chopping, and I found this one, and it was super good and perfect. I know it's gonna be perfect for the winter. And I forget. We were 16 up all night, love and heartbreak was our life. And then for this lunch, I made little pasta salad skewers. I put pasta salad noodles that were, that had soaked in some Italian dressing, a red pepper and some cheese with some grapes, a peanut butter energy ball and some vanilla yogurt raisins. Again, it's just pasta salad, 
but I wanted to present it in a different way and Avery thought it was really fun to kind of pick it off of the stick and eat it. for today's video if you enjoyed this type of video make sure you let me know by leaving me a comment and giving me a thumbs up on this video and i just cannot wait to share with you guys all of the other home updates we're going to be making over the next couple of months and stay tuned because on sunday you're going to see this full-on kitchen reveal mm -hmm.